I'm Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to deep clean your oven. I've been filming a lot on my Instagram lately and I've been so embarrassed to actually show you my oven because it's been hideous. So the time had come for me to give it a really good clean and today I'm going to show you how I deep cleaned my oven. Now I actually started this process last night. I put the Oven Pride cleaning agent on and I left it overnight as it was advised to do on the back of the box. It said you can leave it for four hours but I knew my ovens were really bad so I chose to do it overnight. So it is the night before and I am about to clean my oven. Look at the state of it. I'm actually so ashamed to show you this. I've been doing Insta stories of me cooking my dinners and I'm so careful about what I show because my oven is disgusting. So, here it goes guys, I'm going to clean my oven. The product I'm going to use is this. It's this Oven Pride Deep Cleaner, I've never used it before but I'm going to give it a go. Basically it's got a carrier bag, plastic carrier bag that you put all the oven sheets in with the solution and then you leave it overnight. And then the other half of the bottle you put inside your oven. Let's do this. So in the box you get an instruction leaflet, the bottle of Oven Pride Cleaner, which comes with a warning. It is extremely corrosive, so you must make sure that you keep it away from children. Always close the bottle cap securely. Keep away from your hob and always wear gloves and keep your arms fully covered at all times. The next thing is this huge bag to put your oven trays in. My oven is from Ikea and a really handy feature of this oven is that you just clip off this top bit and then you can remove the glass from the oven. Now unfortunately I can't use the oven cleaner on this, I'm going to have to clean that manually myself, but I can use the cleaner on the oven racks and on, probably shouldn't use it on the tray either. So I'm going to have to scrub these by hand, but the racks and the oven can all have the Oven Pride oven cleaner put on them. The gloves are on, let's do this people. The first thing I am doing is taking the glass out of the top oven, I'm then taking all my dirty horrible oven racks and putting them in the plastic bag that came in the Oven Pride pack. I've then taken the plastic bag over to my sink area and I'm going to apply the Oven Pride solution. I gave it a quick shake before I applied it and then poured half of the Oven Pride solution into my oven trays. Sealed the plastic bag up tightly and then I just moved the solution around to make sure that the whole of the oven tray was coated in the Oven Pride liquid. I then went on to apply the Oven Pride solution to the inside of my oven. Basically just poured it on, but actually this didn't work very well and later on I will show you an even better way to apply it. Here I am doing the same to my top oven and then I took a sponge scarer and used that to rub in the solution so that the whole of the inside of the oven was covered. I did this to the top and bottom oven. Once I had applied all the Oven Pride Cleaner, this is what it looked like and to be honest I've only just applied it and it is looking better already. So I'm going to leave that overnight and come back to it in the morning and see what the difference is. So because I'm leaving the others overnight with the Oven Pride stuff on, I thought I would put some cream cleaner on the trays and on the glass door and then leave those overnight to soak and then I will rub that off in the morning. First fail of the evening, I dripped fat on my wooden work tops and now it will come off. I don't know what to do. Panicking right now. Oh, if I scratch it with my nail, it actually comes off. Or is that just the wood? God's sake. There's another bit here as well. Nightmare. Right, so back to today. I have put back on my dirty old clothes that I was wearing last night because I know this is going to get messy. So I've got my marigolds on and I'm gonna try and scrub it all off now and hopefully I will end up with beautifully clean ovens. 
I don't even really know where to start. I've got my baking trays that I coated in cream cleaner last night and left. And underneath are the baking trays from the oven that are in the oven pride solution in the bag. I guess I should start with showing you all the products I'm going to be using. I've got a fresh scourer for scrubbing those trays. These are like little pads of wire wool but they have soap in the middle so they're quite good actually. They will be for any stubborn bits of burnt on food. I've got my cream cleaner and my washing up liquid and my washing up gloves because this oven price stuff is extremely corrosive so you must always wear gloves when handling it. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill up my bowl with hot soapy water and start scrubbing these trays. I'm hoping just one go will get all this off. I can wash them in the hot soapy water and then they can go in the dishwasher for another wash. That's the plan anyway, let's see how we get on. So I just started to wash off that sift that I had left on the trays overnight with my hot soapy water using my wire wool and any of the more stubborn bits. And then it was time to start on the glass oven doors. Now, this took forever. I scrubbed and I scrubbed and I scrubbed and they just weren't getting clean no matter how hard I scrubbed. So I decided to try and add some more cream cleaner to see if that would get the marks off any easier. I mean it did start to come away but it was a really slow process and it was taking ages. So what I decided to do was to try and add some of the Oven Pride solution to the glass to see if that would help to get the brown marks off. I had already used up all of the solution when I cleaned my oven and the trays, so I poured a little bit of the excess solution that I had used on the trays over my glass and oh my goodness this worked so well. All the little brown bits you can see started to come away and it was obviously watered down with the hot soapy water but I was so pleased how those marks were coming off. So obviously that is not advisable on the packet but it has made such a difference. It's getting all those really stubborn marks off like you can actually see through it now. So that really, well I would recommend doing that again because it's made such a difference to me scrubbing. Cut my scrubbing time in half I would say. Back to more scrubbing. Once I'd started this, I was determined to get every last little brown grease mark off of that glass. And eventually, after lots of scrubbing, I did. So I could finally rinse off that glass. Oh my God, look at that. I can't actually believe I managed to get all that off. And it probably only took about 10 minutes of scrubbing. The only thing that would do it though was the soap filled scourer, this thing. And if I had any stubborn bits, I put more cream cleaner back on and just kept going over it. And oh my God, I'm so pleased. I am now going to put this in the dishwasher. Then it was time to do it all over again with the glass from the top oven. But as you can see, this was coming off a lot more easily. I was just using the hot soapy water with the oven pride solution in it and it took all the grease off. I then moved onto the oven trays being really careful not to get any of the oven pride juice on my wooden worktops or anywhere else for that matter. I carefully put it straight in the bin. That is that the oven rack's pre-clean so hopefully this should all just slide right off. So I found the best way to clean these oven trays is to get one of these soap filled pads and just wrap it around each strand wire and scrub away. Just keep scrubbing. I kept doing this until I would got rid of every last little bit of black that was on my oven tray and then I popped them in the dishwasher. The final part of the oven clean, the actual ovens themselves. Here I am filling up my bucket with hot soapy water. Look at my poor sink. I'm gonna rinse it out. Well, actually, I'm gonna wait until I do the ovens. 
so I've got my setup ready for the ovens. I've got a mop bucket with some hot soapy water in, just washing up liquid and water. My soap filled scourer and another brand new scourer. And I'm gonna crack on with this oven. The first thing I did was to remove all of the thick black oven pride solution that had been left in the oven overnight. The way I did this was to use kitchen roll to soak it up. So I soaked up as much of the tar-like substance as I could and then popped it straight into a carrier bag, which I then put straight into the bin. That was the only way I could minimize the mess in my kitchen. I just used the kitchen roll to soak it all up and then put it straight in a carrier bag. I think I got through about two rolls of kitchen roll, but it was the only way. It was still really sticky once I'd finished doing this. So I'm gonna just put some cream cleaner in there. and hope for the best. Start scrubbing it all off. I used a scourer to rub the sift into the oven and then I just kept scrubbing and rinsing with a scrubbing brush and my scourer and my wire wool. And the easiest way to do this was to rest my bucket on the oven door so that it was as close as possible to the oven and I was limiting where I would drip the thick black oven juice. I then moved on to the top oven and I cleaned that in the same way, scooping out the oven pride first, then applying sif and scrubbing that in, rinsing it off, scrubbing some more, rinsing it off. I just kept doing that. So basically I am having to stop, Maeve has just woke up, but I'm still not much further. I've gone in again with some sif cream cleaner and I'm just gonna let that soak in the bottom oven made such a mess everywhere it's such a mess and then in here again I've put some more cream cleaner in but I actually ran out of cream cleaner so I need to go and get some more cream cleaner or some pink stuff if I can find some because that's what I really want but also I realized that the things on the side of my oven come off if I'd have realized this last night I could have put these in to soak with my oven trays so what I think I'm going to do is go and buy another oven pride kit, even though it totally wrecks my house, it's stained all my worktops. Oh no, look, there's another stain there. Where are they coming from? So yeah, this is the carnage that is my kitchen right now. But now I've started, I've got to finish it. So I'm going to go and get another oven pride kit, some more cleaning stuff, and hopefully get this finished. So because I've run out of all my cleaning products, I've just popped out and got some more. I got another oven pride even though this stuff is deadly and has stained all my worktops. I'm gonna try again with it. I've got some Sif cream with micro crystals. This was 90p from Pound Stretcher and this was £2.49 from Pound Stretcher. So my dishwasher has just finished and this rubber seal that I managed to take off of the oven is looking really nice and clean. It's all no grime on there. And these are my glass oven fronts and I'm really pleased with how they turned out. They just need to give them, there's a little bit of residue from the dishwasher there, but that'll all come off and I'm so pleased. You just remembered how brown and grimy they were. Look how good they look now. So I'm pleased with that, I'm pleased with that. There is a tiny bit of black stuff on these oven trays, but it's just coming off with my nails. So I think that if I give that a going over in some hot soapy water, I think that'll come off really easily now. So I was gonna put them in again with the sides of the oven, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. Here I go again, putting the sides of the oven into the plastic bag that came with the oven pride kit. I am then adding the oven pride solution, half of the bottle of oven pride solution to the plastic bag. And then I'm gonna leave that overnight as before. Before I could apply the oven pride solution to my oven, I had to clean off all the sift that I had left soaking. And I did this by just using hot soapy water and my sponge. Once I'd cleaned this off as best I can, I used kitchen roll to soak up every last bit of the residue. I didn't want to mix any chemicals, so I tried to do this as thoroughly as possible. I then did exactly the same on my top oven. I found the oven pride solution really hard to apply because the bottle just has an open lid and it's really hard to pour in all the nooks and crannies of your oven. So I had the idea to pour it into my empty cream cleaner bottle. I rinsed it thoroughly before I added the 
Oven Pride solution to it. I found it really hard to get the oven pride like right into the corners and all around the top of the grill. So I'm going to use this bottle because I just think it will make it so much easier and it will administer it more evenly. That is my second lot of oven pride on. I definitely feel like it's gone more around the edges now using that cream cleaner bottle to apply it. I've put it on the bottom as well. I am now going to leave this overnight for the second time. Hello, I am back in my kitchen and I'm about to embark on day three of the oven clean. So today, I left the second lot of oven pride on the oven overnight. Today I'm going to take it off and do the final, hopefully the final clean of the oven. After doing this twice, I have definitely got the method down now. What I do first of all is remove all of the oven pride solution with the kitchen roll. I then go in with my hot soapy water to scrub away all of the grime and to remove all the residue of the oven pride cleaner. Once I was happy that the oven was thoroughly clean, I wiped it out again with kitchen roll, getting any last traces of cleaner out of my oven. Next it was time to clean the sides of my oven and I learnt from my last experience and I added the oven pride liquid straight to my washing up water. This feels so weird because you're literally pouring dirty greasy solution into your nice clean hot soapy water but it works so well it takes seconds to get the grime off of those trays. I wanted to show you close up because it is literally just sliding off on this one coming off so easily this is what it should be like so much easier if you add the solution to the water it's not recommended but I found it really works once I clean the sides of my oven I put them in the dishwasher for a final rinse and then I cleaned my oven inside and out with hot soapy water we are on the home straight now guys if you are still here thank you i am so sorry this video has been so long i just wanted to show you every single step that i did so that you would be able to get your oven as clean as mine because now it is literally sparkling just wait for the afters it'll be worth it i promise so once i'd given my oven a good clean inside and out with the hot soapy water i dried it off with kitchen roll and then it was time to put my oven back together yay once I put all the fixtures back in, I gave it all a spray with antibacterial cleaner and then wiped it down with kitchen roll. And look how clean it looks. It may have been lengthy, but wasn't it worth it? I then gave my oven door a final clean with glass cleaner and then cleaned it off with kitchen roll before fixing the door back on. I used SIF stainless steel cleaner to clean the front of my ovens one last time. Once the dishwasher had finished, I popped the inserts back in and the oven trays. And there we have it, the oven clean is finished. It may have taken me three days, but I am so pleased with the results and I'm glad I took the time to do it properly. Look how clean that glass is, every bit of my oven is sparkling there are no crusted on bits I am so pleased with this clean if you stuck to the very end thank you so much I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you if you need to clean your oven please do let me know if you use any of my tips and hacks whilst cleaning your own I would love to know in the comments below last thing I'm doing now is adding an oven protective sheet to the bottom of my oven to catch any future drips and spills. I'm hoping this will prevent my oven ever becoming as dirty again. So that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching how I deep clean my oven. I hope that it inspires you to do those horrible jobs around the house that you hate. This is literally my worst job, which is why it got so bad. But I'm so pleased now it's done. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I cleaned my oven. If you did enjoy it, then please do subscribe to my channel. I do lots of other cleaning type videos, as well as post things on motherhood, homemaking, lifestyle, fashion, and travel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.